the last sacrifice. Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 says, He will confirm a covenant with many for one seven. In the middle of the seven, he will put an end to sacrifice and offering. And at the temple, he will set up an abomination that causes desolation until the end that is decreed is poured out on him. This verse has rich prophetic symbolism concerning the Messiah's coming events. The praise one week refers to a span of seven years. Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 is considered to be one of the illuminating prophecies of the Old Testament scripture. It explains that 490 years after a very specific point in Israel's history, the Messiah would come and set up his kingdom on earth. The 70th week will begin when the satanic inspired man who is going to desecrate the temple makes a peace treaty with Israel. This man of sin will be identified when he confirms a covenant of peace. This is the Antichrist. People will hail him as Messiah and he will deceive many. Meanwhile, during the 70th week, Israel will complete their call to preach the gospel of the kingdom throughout the world as foretold by Matthew. They will call all men to repent for the kingdom of heaven is coming soon. They will preach this kingdom gospel throughout the world and then the end will come when Christ will return to sit on the throne of David and set up God's kingdom on earth. They will shockingly deceive into thinking the Savior has already arrived, believing his smooth sounding words until a significant event takes place in the middle of the final week when this even impostor completes the abominable, abominable action described in this verse in the middle of the week. He will go into the temple of God and put a stop to the daily sacrifices. This counterfeit Christ will claim that he is God and will desecrate God's holy temple with what Jesus calls the abomination that causes desolation. Then the full force of God's wrath will be poured out in the fullest measure. But God is righteous and must judge sin. But he must also judge the world in righteousness. Our sin was judged at the cross of Calvary. But the wrath of God was poured out on Christ in our behalf. Which is why church will be removed before this terrible day of destruction. For we are not appointed unto wrath. However, an unbelieving world must suffer the consequences of rejecting the God who created them and who paid the price for their sin with his own blood. Having heard this terrible that will happen, I would like to quote what Clarence Haynes said, With the study of any prophecy, it should always motivate you to do two things. One is to tell more about people about Jesus Christ. And number two is to make sure that you are living right before God. Praise the Lord.